Let's see what secrets the Prophet has for us this time around. The quest as of now just says enter the Harbridge. So it should be pretty interesting to say the least. Talk to a Varen, okay. The typical stuff so far. Oh, they're arguing. Probably the best friend I have. If the vestige is going, I'm going too. Is that right? And you are the most qualified. Why? Is it your superior knowledge of Cold Harbor? Your expertise in dealing with Daedric entities? Or is it simply the unrequited puppy love you feel for that shirtless mammoth? <laughs> is that it? All right. Varen. The time has come for another foray into Oblivion Vestige. We have one last ally in need of rescue. Sai Sahan, of course. Indeed, Abnathan and I have been meditating, scrying, and poring over Menemarko's notes. And at long last, we've discovered the location of the Halls of Torment. How long has Sai Sahan been a prisoner there? Our friend has suffered unimaginable and unending torment for nearly two years. Far longer than any mortal man should endure. But Sai Sahan is something more than mortal man. He's a descendant of Leki, the Yokudan sword saint. I've seen it. Uh, then we must find him quickly. We have been able to determine the precise area of the halls where Sai is being held. This is why we were so long about the task. I shall open a portal for you. Am I going alone? Lyris and Abner have both agreed to accompany you, but I fear their mutual enmity will complicate your task. Speak with them and hear what they offer, but you must choose one or the other. Okay, sounds good. Uh, well, this is gonna be tough. Okay, so it's either between Abner Tharn and Lyris Titanborn. Not gonna lie, this is actually a kind of a tough decision for me. Let's talk to them both and see what happens. What's wrong? What did Baron say? He said that only one of you can join me. Then your choice is clear. I've known Sai Sahan longer than anyone. I should be the one to go. It's your decision. Just know that I'd give my life for you or for Sai. Would Tharn do the same? Let's see what he has to say. You look perplexed. What inscrutable riddles is Baron spouting now? Well, he said that only one can join me. Did he? What surprisingly good advice. Titanborn and I are more likely to kill each other than we are to help. The choice is yours. But I recommend choosing brains over brawn. I have valuable knowledge of the Daedra. And don't forget, I'm the mage. That's a good point. I am a up-close person. That's kind of why I have Bastion. So would... Well, actually, Bastion, to be honest, is another tank. So having another up-close and personal person would, uh, would probably do me a disservice. Since it's me and Bastion up-close. So I think I'm going to end up taking Abner Tharn only because he's a mage. He's a ranged character, so let's go ahead and go with him. I think this is probably the best decision. Uh, come with me, Abner. A very wise decision. One you won't regret. Trust me. Shall we go? We've a Red Guard sword master to rescue. Yes. Go with Abner. Save Sai Sahan from the halls of torment. Is this a portal? Oh, there we go. Portal to the Halls of Torment. Oh, man, we're about to, to rescue Sai Sahan. It's gonna be pretty interesting, to say the least. Halls of Torment. Where is the amulet of kings? Oh, they're torturing him. I... I knew I was going to get stabbed there. All right, let's wait for a second. Uh-oh. The day is ours. Yes, the day is in fact ours. If Come here.
Hello? Okay, we got some more people over here. I can't see a thing from this angle. There we go. These corridors are very... Like, narrow, you know? It looks like me. What in damnation is going on here? It looks like you. What do you mean it looks like you? Where is the Amulet of Kings? Oh, it is. Or I'll gut you like a fish with your own sword. <laughs> Gotta get out of the way before he kills me. Let's finish him off. It's, it said the doppelganger. Whoa, what's going on? Not gonna lie, that was a pretty cool animation. Well, that was unnerving. Can't say that I've ever had to kill a version of myself before. But I must say, even as an evil doppelganger, I'm a very capable opponent. I mean, I, I kicked your butt pretty easily. Uh, what was all that talk of sword singers? They were a legendary group of Red Guard sword masters, wiped out in the first era by the Yokudan Emperor Hira. Sahan spent years trying to resurrect their ancient traditions, but failed utterly. He considered it his greatest failure. Why did the doppel uh, doppelganger look like you? The torturers here are using Sahan's memories and darkest fears against him in an attempt to break his will. He and I were never close. In truth, I enjoyed mocking him. <laughs> I had no idea how deeply it affected him. Interesting. Interesting? Maybe you should try to correct that and apologize. You almost sound pleased about that. Oh, please. We're adults, aren't we? The day I start considering people's feelings before speaking my mind is the day my efficacy as a politician comes to an end. When that day comes, just kill me outright. I beg of you. Alrighty, then. I like Abner Thard, but he's a little, uh... He's, 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 he's weird. We'll just leave it at that. Brimstone steps? Hello? Ah! I thought he was going to be closer. Dunzo, what did I pick up? A great sword of frost. Definitely won't be needing that. Dunzo. See, yeah, this is working out great. I'm glad that I decided to bring Abner Tharn. You could take that, thank you. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you there, brother. These guys are pretty weak. Kill 15 foes with casual abilities. Where is the amulet of kings? Round two. Is that Lyr? It is Lyris. Wait, where'd she go? She seems to be drawing power from those stones. Destroy them quickly. I don't know if you guys heard of this, but Lyris' doppelganger said my love. So there's definitely some interest, love interest there. I have to destroy this thing? Yes, shielding stone. Yeah, see, she said it again. She said my love. There's definitely more to their relationship than was originally disclosed, which is fine. It's their private relationship, you know? No need to disclose that to us. All right, where are we going? This way? Hello. Gotta get my damage shield up. That's not what I want. I wanted the other person, but it's okay. I get we got it anyways. All right. So, whatever. 
We should have one more, right? Yep, one more it is. Let's get our sword ready, just in case. Yeah, every single one has its own set of defenders. Got him! Good job, Bastion. You finished her off. See, she keeps saying my love. That's all you got, Lyris? Titanborn? Whoa. Haha! -ha. You are nothing to me, Lyris. Or doppelganger Lyris, I should say. What do you got to say about this, Abner? Hold a moment. Well, well, well. Wasn't that a charming little scene? I can't wait to mock, to tell Titanborn all about it. <laughs> oh, God. What do you mean? Are you as blind as your vagabond emperor? The first room was about Sahan's failures. This room is obviously an attempt to leverage his subconscious desires. So, our Red Guard friend has a secret crush on the half giant. A revolt. Well, he originally said memories. Not desires. So unless it's both memories and desires, if it's if it's focused mainly on memories, then the memories obviously suggest that them that they both had a relationship. So I'm not really sure why this is a question if that's the case. So it's probably both. This place can leverage both, if, or perhaps even more than just those two. But yeah, uh, do you think they had a relationship? Please. Titanborn has all the emotional depth of a frost atronach. But who knew Sahan was that sentimental? Then again, he did resist her charms. Good thing, too. That truly would have been a farewell kiss. I think we just met Manny Marco's Duchess of Anguish. I can only assume she's Sahan's personal torturer. I have a sneaking suspicion we'll be meeting her again very soon. Perhaps. Let's keep moving. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's who we're going to have to defeat in order to save Sai. Wait, am I even going the right way? Let me see the map. Uh, no, I wasn't. So I got to go this way. Yeah, because we came in from where I was going. So let's go this way and see where it leads. Many visitors in the halls of torment, but there's always room for a few more. Why did I just walk into that? Who are you? Get out of here. Dude, yeah, I finish. Dawnbreaker can now, now be morphed? Uh, Fighter's Guild. Flawless down, uh, Dawnbreaker. Flawless Dawnbreaker. After activating your weapon and spell damage is increased. After activating weapon and spell damage is, is increased. What is it at, originally? Nine... Nine uh, thousand seven hundred and seven. Six seconds. Six seconds. So, oh, it's increased by three hundred for fourteen seconds. That's actually really good. Increases the damage and stuns enemies. So it goes from nine thousand seven hundred. To 11,000. 10, 9. Man, this is really good too. And stuns enemies. For 14 seconds. I think overall this might have potential for more damage. For a DPS, which is technically what I am. If this was more of a tanky situation or or maybe even healer. I would probably go for this. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong in my assessment, but I think I'm going to go for Flawless Dawn Dawnbreaker. It kind of makes more sense to me, but let me know if I made a mistake. And if I should have chose the other one instead. So this is Flawless Dawnbreaker. What is this? Uh... Yeah, this one's already morphed. Is everything morphed?
Uh, yeah, everything is officially morphed. So we're good. We're good here. I see some enemies. Hello. You want some of this too? Thank you. Come again. Defeat size tortures. Is this it? Is this finally it? Are we gonna save Sah uh, Sai Sahan? You can finally rest. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Sai? Yeah, that anguish person is talking crap. That's gotta be him. Who dares to defy the Duchess of Anguish? I will tear out your heart and make you break the Which death do you prefer, mortal? Slow and painful or quick and painful? Defeat the Duchess of Anguish, you say? Glorious, you say? What is that? Or right, that's you? Let's try this flawless Dawnbreaker. Dunzo. Well, that was pretty simple. Are you hurt? Size in pain. Release his bombs quickly. At least he cares enough to. I think he mocks them out of care, if that makes any sense. Like lovable teasing, if you will. Varen sent me, I'm afraid. I I'm a friend. The Emperor? He lives? This day is filled with wonders. <laughs> Did they force you to reveal the location of the Amulet of Kings? They tortured me for many months. Years, perhaps. But I did not break my vow. The Amulet is hidden and safe. Nice. He is the stuff, man. If it was for months, maybe even years, and he held true, this dude is a, he's a, he is a warrior. Can you walk? We need to get you out of here. My strength is returning. Lead on. All right, follow me. You hey, look, there he is. Bring him through the portal quickly. Oh, at least we don't have to actually go anywhere. We can just go through the portal. Portal to the Harbridge. Alrighty, what do we have here? Baron. Saisahan lives. You've outdone yourself, Vestige. Uh, the Daedra, the Daedra tortured his mind as well as his body. The minds of some men can endure hardships far greater than anything that Daedra can concoct. The forces of loyalty, honor, and friendship are powerful indeed. So what's our next move? We must recover the Amulet of Kings, but only when Sai Sahan has had time to recover. He is a man of great strength, but he will still need to rest after such an ordeal. Where is this Amulet of Kings anyways? Sai locked the Amulet away in the ruins of San Kator and entrusted the key to one of his close associates. But he can tell you himself. Speak with him. He's eager to meet his liberator. I'll contact you when we're ready to move forward. San Kator. If I remember correctly, that's that's where you had to get the armor for Martin in Oblivion. I could be mistaken about that, but I think that's correct, right? Let me know down in the comments if I'm right or wrong on that. Hey, Sai, how you feeling? I owe you my life. My lord calls you Vestige. Is it true your soul was taken from you? Yeah, it's actually true. Stranger still. My people say that bravery and honor are the hallmarks of a great soul. Yet you have both of those things in great measure. No big deal. I had begun to think that honor was a relic of the past. You give me hope. Yeah, I mean, never mind all that, man. How are you feeling? I cannot say. Physically. Oh no. Weight of my soul. I 
do not know how long this emptiness will remain. How do we get the Amulet of Kings? I hid the amulet in a sacred catacomb protected by magical wards. The means of lifting these wards are in the keeping of my old mentor, Asura. As soon as I am able, we must meet with her. Okay. Uh, we will as soon as you're well. You should rest now, man. I will try to rest. But I'm a warrior. I cannot sit still for very long. <laughs> and I should say he did not look like he coughed. Asura, I am unpleasantly fragrant. If she happened to be downwind of me, oh, I would never hear the end of it. As you say, Sai. The path ahead of us is a dark one. But it pleases me to know that I shall walk the path with friends. May we all rest a little easier tonight. I know I shall. I hope so, man. Because you've literally been through a lot for either multiple months or perhaps years. But regardless of the situation, man, you're safe now. You should get some rest. Yay, we rescued Sai. Dude, the, the crew's all together, right? This is everyone? I can't think of anybody that we're missing. Oh, well, actually, there... Oh, no, yeah, there is everyone. I was going to say, uh, maybe Cadwell, but he's literally right there. So, yeah, I think we have the whole crew together, man. The Halls of Torment. That's awesome. I'm so happy that we finally saved Psy. He should be full strength or full capacity, if you will, the next time we see him. So, I guess only time will tell. I bet you, once we activate the next mission, it, sh it should be a lot better. Okay. I, I kind of... So, between this video and the last video, I kind of changed the outside stuff. Like the pauldrons, the hands, the legs, all that stuff. And I put it all the same thing, Kinnereth, or Kinnemar, whatever it was called. The same as the wings, I just kind of matched the set. The only thing I kept was the helmet, because I like the helmet since he's a Templar. And I think it looks great like that, in my opinion. But I do, but now that I changed it, it kind of doesn't uh, look good with the mount. So... I'm hoping to find something... Decent. I might just go with a, a regular horse, nothing special. Or, hell, even this one, actually. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The only thing I don't like is the fact that he's holding something. The mount itself looks cool. And it does look good with him on it, but the fact that he's holding that, I just don't like, personally. How does it look with this mount? Not too bad, but not great either. Don't want a camel. I don't want any animals, to be honest. Uh, yeah, let's go with... Yeah, I think we're gonna go... We're gonna go with the surreal horse. I think that's probably our best bet. It's a normal horse, but... I mean, look at it. It, it looks nice. It looks decent. If I find a better horse that's in, like, the crown shop or something, I'm definitely gonna buy it because... Yeah, this looks... I want it to look better. Traveler, a moment of your time. No, thank you.